Hello and welcome back to the Gen 3 Decomp tutorial series. Today we're going to have another really quick video. We're just going to talk about rebattling trainers. So I probably could have covered this in the first trainer battle video, but it's whatever. Um, there are three main macros that we're going to take use of when we are doing things about rebattling trainers. There's check trainer flag, which checks to see if the trainer flag is set and it will return true if it is set. Um, set trainer flag which will set the trainer flag to true and clear trainer flag which will clear the trainer flag and set it to false um, now the trainer flags again are different than our normal flags that we give our objects in polymap so we have our event flag that we give the object event in polymap for the trainer but it's not the same flag this flag is for showing the object, the trainer object, in Pori, in our overworld. Um, but the trainer flags are different. The trainer flags aren't defined exactly. They're not given individual names, but they're done via offset. So the trainer flags start at this offset here, this number in the list of flags, and then uh, they end with the you know that number plus the max trainer count which you can find in opponents.h now you can increase this number if you're increasing trainer flags but it can get a little complicated you can only increase it by three just without you know anything annoying um but it's so it's better to take over trainers as i've mentioned before but we're not going to be talking about that today we're just since the trainer flags are they're handled by the code we don't actually have to worry about what they're called we just have to have the actual trainers define in trainers.h the name of the trainer that we're given it corresponds to the trainer flag um, and all we need to know is that to access it um, so we are going to set up a trainer I'm just gonna put it on this guy here um, and it's just gonna be a very quick script um, and all we need to do if we want to rebattle a trainer anytime we anytime we initiate a trainer battle anytime we start trainer battle single we have a anytime we have a script that has something like this on it before it runs this trainer battle single it checks the trainer flag and it uses that check trainer flag here and it only runs the code if check trainer flag returns false so how do we, you know, make the trainer rebattable? We just write clear trainer flag, and then the name of the trainer is just a random trainer that I added and, um, you know, put on that object in Pori Map. It's just, you know, one of the guitarist guys or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Um, so we just clear the trainer flag, and then we can run it again. Now, if you want to like only be able to battle them five times, or you want to only battle people if specific things are set then you can you know have different scripts that clear the trainer flag based on conditions based on you know progression if you want to have a script that you know clears all the trainer flags after um you know you beat the fifth gym or something or you beat the eighth gym and all the trainer flags in the entire um the you know the entire game are uncleared you can you can do that um also this is how the game handles uh, you know, making it so that you can't battle a trainer after you beat a gym leader inside of the gym. So if you, you know, if you skip a trainer and then you go straight to the gym leader and you beat the gym leader, then you can't go and battle the trainers that you missed because their flags are set. So instead of clearing, its set trainer flag is ran at the end of each gym. So it makes sure all the trainers are set. So if you want to be able to, if you want that to happen when you're setting up a gym, you would do that. You would set all the trainer flags inside of your gym after you beat the gym leader and the code that runs after the gym leader battle on the condition that you win the gym battle at least, you'll set all the trainer flags for the you know the trainers in the gym so clearing and setting is as simple as that so if we want it to just always be able to run if we always want to be able to run this trainer battle if we just clear it every single time before the script runs it's gonna let us run it so i've already compiled it and we can check it out here this guy's right here he starts a trainer battle and you know we can battle him takes just a second okay apparently not And then we can do it again. And it's as simple as that. And we can do it again if we want to. Um, so it just clears the trainer flag every single time beforehand. 
Um, so that's, you know, the basics of how trainer flags work. Again, a really quick video. It probably didn't even need to be this long. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment here in the Discord. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.